Retail these days seems to be a tale of bricks versus clicks. While brick and mortar retailers continue to struggle, online retailers are getting a boost from consumers who are able to scour the web for the best deals. And one popular site for luxury brands these days is Gilt. G I L T. The company has been tre seeing tremendous growth in the two years since it was founded. And joining me now is their CEO, Susan Line. She's here with us again in studio. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you, Margaret. I have to ask you. You know, look at the projections for this Christmas. Mastercard says e-commerce sales are up 13 percent this right. season. Are you seeing those kind of double-digit sales growth? We're actually up about fourfold really? over last year. We're a two-year-old company. Um, we've seen enormous growth and so month over month, I, I mean really consistently we've been seeing four times the growth of a year ago. So it is, it, it's, we are benefiting from the, the move online but mm -hmm. we're also a company that's in hyper growth. You are in hyper growth even beyond just the, the apparel Absolutely. space right now. You also yes. have these new businesses with travel and the like. We do, we do. We launched Guilt Man about two months ago, which is on fire. Mm -hmm. You know, there are very few places you can go online to shop as a guy to find great apparel, but also great gear and stuff, you know, things that um, we did skis, we did flip cameras, we've done motorcycles, we've done all kinds of things in addition to the great designer goods you would expect. And we did launch jetsetter.com also around the same time, which is great travel experiences really very curated mm -hmm. so that we're only offering you things we know are fabulous places to visit and all at those great guilt prices. Now over the past two years we've seen too much inventory in stores. They were trying to offload it. Right. That's helped out uh, companies like yours who have been able to sell luxury goods at a discount. But now we're hearing from the stores themselves. We've got it under control. We've got really minimal levels of right. inventory. So how does that challenge your business model? You know, there is always excess goods, always have been, you know, a company like uh, like TJ Maxx does $20 billion in sales a year. So uh, there's never going to be a time where, where everyone gets it perfectly. Mm -hmm. We're actually very happy that, that our brand partners are doing better, that in fact retailers are at least not seeing the same dips that they were a year ago because we need a really healthy industry for our company to thrive. So all good. Um, we are working increasingly with our brand partners to actually cut goods, especially for guilt. Um, just because there's, uh, uh, over time, we're going to need more and more inventory and better for us to be able to get the right items, the right sizes that we know mm -hmm. our customers are looking for. So exclusives or producing specifically exactly. for the site. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> you know, we were just speaking with Greg Malik of Morgan Stanley who, uh, you know, as a firm, they're making a bet that mobile is really going to dominate, particularly in the right. online space. Yep. To be able to take your iPhone or some other application and just sort of point and click <clears throat> on the road. So how are you preparing for that shift? Well, we actually launched <clears throat> an iPhone app about uh, maybe three months ago mm -hmm. um, that already has about 75,000 downloads. Wow. Uh, two weeks ago on Saturday, and I just haven't checked it since then, but 7% of all of our sales came from the iPhone app. So that's extraordinary because it's only about, um, you know, maybe 5% of our our membership overall, Hi. yeah, we've got a million nine members and there are 75,000 downloads mm -hmm. and yet 7% of all of our sales that day came from that iPhone app. So what is that buyer doing with that application? Are they just researching but no, are they no, really no. purchasing? No, 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 they are buying. You can actually buy on, on our app. It's, it is very similar as an experience. In fact, some people think it's a better experience because mm -hmm. um, you can flip through all the stuff. Uh, it's fun, you know. I think there's a gaming element to it that that uh, that makes it um, very sticky for people, and uh, we're just seeing a, an enormous amount of very positive response to it. Now, I understand you had some difficulty with the site overnight. Is it up? Is it functioning? Oh yes, it is. Absolutely. There are occasionally times because we are growing so fast where um, where it becomes difficult for us to either handle. The transactions, you know, when there are 200,000 people trying to add to cart at the same time, mm -hmm. it puts a lot of stress onto it. But uh, right now, it's perfect. So 
In fact, we did a special um, log on for your viewers today. So anyone oh, did who's you? not a member can go to www.guilt.com slash Bloomberg and they can register right away. And, and the show ends at noon, which is right when your sales begin. Perfect. So that's perfect. <laughs> well, I do want to ask you because you're very busy with Guilt right now, but you also just joined the board of AOL. I did. What's happening on that front and is there a potential for you two to work together? Uh, well, that's, we'll deal with that down the line, but, uh, but I, I really admire Tim. I think he's a great CEO. Uh, he spent a decade at Google before coming over to AOL. I think he's got a really good strategy for, for scaling content, quality content online. And, uh, you know, somebody's going to get this right, mm -hmm. and I would bet on him. Oh, vote of confidence. Thank you so much uh, for joining us and giving us uh, insight, not just on AOL, but on guilt right now and, and for that promotion. Uh, thank you so much, thank Susan, you. for coming in.